And moving on from a turbulent nation to a troubled economy, Nigerian President Bola Tinubu has announced a ban on public funded foreign trips of his ministers and government officials. The decision comes amidst growing criticism over its government's travel expenses. Our next report explains the details. Nigerian officials will not be able to take public funded foreign trips anymore. And that's because President Bola Tinubu has announced a travel ban for ministers and government officials. The three month ban will begin from the 1st of April. The Nigerian government will only allow tours that are deemed absolutely necessary. And even those trips would require President Tinubu's nod. His approval will be given at least two weeks before the travel date. The president's office says these travel restrictions will ensure that the government officials focus on their respective mandates for effective service delivery. Tinubu's chief of staff adds that the decision was prompted by concerns over rising travel expenses. The Nigerian administration has been facing criticism for its foreign visits. The president himself has made more than 15 foreign trips since his inauguration in May 2023. Reports suggest that the president spent over $2.2 million in the first six months of his tenure for domestic and foreign trips. The amount was reportedly 36% more than the total travel budget amount for 2023. And what infuriated Nigerians more was the Dubai COP summit last November. The Nigerian government sponsored as many as 400 people to attend the summit, a move that was widely criticized on social media. Tinubu woke up to the backlash and took some measures to bring down expenses. In January, the Nigerian president announced a reduction in the size of the official travel delegations. He ordered a 60% reduction in the size of delegations, including his own travel entourage. However, it remains unclear whether Tinubu himself will cut down his trips. Earlier, the president and his representatives defended his trips as vital in addressing the economic issues of Nigeria, a problem that Tinubu is often accused of ignoring. Nigerians are reeling under a severe cost of living crisis. The country's inflation rate rose to almost 30% in February, which is the highest in nearly three decades. The cost of food has also gone up by more than 35%. There are a lot of friends that I know that used to buy tomatoes and they can no longer buy them. They cannot sell it again. They are just trying to find what they can eat now and not to do the tomatoes business again. Even those that push trucks, now a lot of them cannot push it again because the tomatoes are very expensive. Like today it was the last food. That's what um, I made this, this morning. My son took it to school. I don't even have any. In my pot now, I don't even have anything to eat. I'm not even worried about that. I'm just thinking of what all he will eat if he comes back. <laughs> These economic hardships have spread public discontent across Nigeria. Though the Nigerian president has announced travel curbs to cut down expenses, the question arises. With severe economic crisis grappling the country, are these measures enough to deal with the situation?